This is breaking news from 4 News Now. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. Uh, we begin today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown with breaking news in a 41-year-old cold case in Washington. Now, according to the Ponderay Coroner's Office, they've identified a human skull that was discovered in Newport, Washington, a wooded area north of Newport in 1982. Now, due to DNA technology, modern technology through the company Othram, uh, they were able to identify that individual as Mildred Hubbards, a 59-year-old woman who disappeared in 1968 out of St. Ignatius, Montana. Uh, they believe her age to be 59 at the time of her disappearance. Uh, that company, same company, Othram, also were the ones that helped ID a woman in another cold case that was found in the Spokane River. Um, so their uh, ability to get that kind of degraded DNA and test those for samples is helping a th local authorities solve these cold cases. Um, so after identifying Hubbards, they were able to confirm with her great granddaughter, who's still alive, that Hubbards did in fact go missing from Montana. And again, her skull was found in Newport, Washington in 1982 by a person who was hunting in that area and uh, contacted Ponderay authorities. The circumstances around her disappearance are still unknown at this time. But again, that is breaking news out of Ponderay. Moving on from that, let's take a look at the forecast. Uh, expect some snow if you're traveling for spring break. Look at Snoqualmie Pass if you're heading over to Seattle. Heavy snow in all our mountain passes if you are traveling. Uh, tomorrow will be a weather alert day for 4 News Now. So again, if you are traveling for spring break, be aware of that heavy snow. Should be moving in Friday night as we transition into Saturday. Let's take a look at the other side of the state. Lookout Pass also expecting several inches there. You can see five and a half inches. Maybe not as bad as Snoqualmie, but still be aware again if you are hitting those mountain passes. We do have a weather alert day tomorrow. Um, moving on, let's take a look at some of the local top headlines, starting with... Uh, Emily Bloom is following up on a story that broke late last night and this morning. East Valley School District closed all their campuses today due to online threats. Now, an email went out to parents late Thursday around 11.30 p.m. saying that there were threats targeting East Valley High School specifically. But out of an abundance of caution, the district made the choice to close all their schools today. And they are working with law enforcement to find out out what happened. There aren't very few details being released right now, so Emily is working on finding out as much as we are allowed to know. Moving on from that, Bronte Sorotsky, she is looking at an Idaho bill that is heading to Governor Little's desk. It's been contentious since being introduced. Uh, it would ban obscene materials in libraries and schools. Well, it wouldn't necessarily get rid of them, but it would help uh, not allow those obscene materials to be distributed to minors by allowing lawsuits against the libraries and schools by people who uh, discover obscene materials with minors. Um, so she's been looking at that and trying to speak with libraries about if this law now on its final leg just needed to be, or this, excuse me, this bill now on its final leg needing to be signed into law by Governor Little, how that could impact our local libraries and how they help people uh, get the books that they're looking for. Jordan Smith is taking a look at a special report ABC is doing tonight about Lauren McCluskey. She was a University of Utah student killed in 2018. She was murdered by her ex-boyfriend who also killed himself around that time uh, when authorities were tracking him. Jordan Smith spoke with her family because the, uh, locally she used to train at Pullman and the University of Idaho has dedicated their track to her. So Jordan spoke with the university as well as McCluskey's family about the impact of that. ABC will be uh, airing a 2020 special report tonight at 9 p.m. to go along with that. 
Closing out the daily rundown today, Destiny Richards out at the latest new restaurant in downtown Spokane. Uh, it is called Off the Wall and it features indoor fruit food trucks. Uh, there's three food trucks and a full bar so you can go indoors, still get that food truck experience. Um, they are three different food trucks. I believe one's Mexican food and one does salads as well and you can get gourmet hot dogs at the third again it is a full bar and it's called off the wall because it is located on north wall street uh right around wall and riverside that's near the piano bar in downtown kind of that block of the piano bar and red robin in downtown spokane so destiny richards was out there today and you can find out more details about that restaurant and all the stories on our website kxly.com so that's all we have for today's kxly plus daily rundown be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected...